Yeah. Alright, well, uh, first of all, I want to ask you guys what it's like to uh, work with each other once again, Let's ten go. years God, later. Sucked, totally <laughs> sucked. These guys do nothing to piss me off. It's a good thing I brought Sheila here to keep me company. <laughs> my spare time, because these guys is boring. <laughs> uh, well, how did... How do you feel about the movie becoming, like, such a cult classic? Yeah. It sucks! <laughs> Cult is, the, to me, the cult is the coolest word in film. Uh, just flat out. You can't plan that. Nobody says, I'm going to set out to do a cult movie that actually pulls it off. Cults always have some kind of weird history behind them. <laughs> Hollywood didn't understand them, didn't, you know, just let, let the movie fall, and the fans did, and somehow picked it up, and that's what happened with Boondock. Basically, uh, the Columbine incident ended our chances at uh, any kind of theatrical fans picked it up and made it successful. Virtually made Boondock a 10-year financial juggernaut. And uh, pretty soon, the powers that be in Hollywood just simply had to make the sequel. They were forced almost. Became like financially irresponsible not to. Because of all you pricks. <laughs> So what was it like to, you know, revisit the tone and the world and these characters, you know, 10 years after the last uh, film's release? Tone and world? That sounds think... like actor bull <laughs> <laughs> Somebody went to film school. Okay. Uh, no, it was, it was I mean, it all felt a little deja vu at the beginning, you know? Um, but once you start, you know, you put on the coats and you shoot people and speak the right way, it was, uh, felt like riding a bike. You just jump right on. Yeah, it was good. First thoughts like when you got back on the set for the sequel, like what was the first thing that went through your head, like the first day of shooting? Give me a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it was, you know, first day. The first day was just basically a, a litmus test for all the rest of the days. We had a lot of, an independent film. You got this much time, this much money, and you have to work within those confines. We had to bust our. Sometimes we were shooting at TV pace. We got one, had one day where we got 67 setups in one day on a film. Uh, when the average good moving day is 9 to 11, uh, you can see how quickly we were moving. And some of these guys only got one or two takes to get something. And that's a real pain in the ass for actors because they're sitting there going, I've looked at these words for a year, thought about how I want to do this, and you're giving me 30 seconds to get it right. And uh, these guys were just so prepared, and they knew so much from doing the first one. We had such a great shorthand together that uh, they just pulled it off, you know? So how much touring and promoting have you guys done with me? Like, where have you been, and like, what has been the reception? I went to New York, uh, went to Boston, and Philadelphia today. Uh, New York and Boston was zoos. Fans went over the top. I could not have scripted a better reaction to this film than the fans have had. So it's like a million pounds are off my shoulders. I will guarantee you it's going to be a zoo there tonight at, in Philly. It's standing ovation. <laughs> uh, line was around the block. 2,200 kids came to New York. And we had like a 500 seat theater, so the NYPD came out and dispersed the crowd afterwards. <laughs> you know, it's, kind of, it's, 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 it's cool. I mean, I mean, it's kind of like... Uh, being Mick Jagger for a day, you know, because I, 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 don't, I don't get to do big films that premieres, you know, so to do a film that's actually going to be released and has a reception from the fans and, and you can see that they truly enjoy it, it's, it's, it's killer, man. It really is. It's like, uh, it's like I get to, to become Tom Cruise for a day, you know what I mean? It's just kind of cool. It's kind of cool. It's, it's no different than if, if it was you guys. You guys would be like, holy shit, this is cool. If you bang Jenna Jameson and he said, hey, how was that? <laughs> you probably would go, do you even have to f***ing ask, dude? What do you mean, how was that? It was awesome. And I gave him a little double boogie to the dome and I was out of there. I'd have listed another chick, but... 